Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this article comes from the AT&T blog site. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So this is a very, very interesting business to, to figure out from an analyst perspective, consumer perspective, as to how aggressive AT&T is really going to get with Internet Air. That's the hardest part to figure out for anyone. So as AT&T continues expanding markets where they offer availability for the product, what's the end game with this? That's the big question. That's hard to figure out because publicly AT&T talks about it as a you know uh a filler a fill in product like hey we're just going to fill this in for a little bit and then if we can get fiber there if there's enough demand you know, they're just filling in the gap with this product, it seems, that, hey, look, we can take revenue now from this customer with home internet air. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what do you, do you guys have confidence that this is going to be the big product that Verizon and AT&T are pushing in terms of performance and, and sales-wise, sales right, number-wise? Or do you guys really think this is just going to be just that fill product where they're filling in the gap until they can get fiber to some of these areas? Or do you think eventually AT&T will pivot strategy? I think they will pivot strategy because the C-band and DOD, even T-Mobile knows when they're filling that extra capacity, there is not enough mobile usage in today's market that will fill up that capacity. So at t is going to have that same issue. They're going to have sectors and sites that are going to be doing eight, 900, maybe even over a gig during peak hours of the day where they're going to question like, hey, look, we need to sell more of this FWA so we can monetize. And that's not something that they're discussing publicly. Publicly, they only talk about it. Hey, we're going to fill the gap with this product. And then if there's enough demand in that neighborhood, we'll bring them fiber. So there is a lot of confusion, uh, confusion around this product. It's, it is very confusing. Stanky recently mentioned that if this product is available in any given neighborhood, then that neighborhood is set to get fiber within the next two years. But in many cases, I have been told that is not the case. So I just don't know the full-blown strategy behind this product. We know it for Verizon. We know it for T-Mobile. They want to go big on this. They have... They have certain ambitions by a certain time frame. We don't hear any of that from AT&T at all whatsoever. So I'm not expecting them to, to, to do any big marketing on a national scale for this product. I'm not, expecting them, I'm not expecting to see them at the Super Bowl with a big ad for home internet air. I, I'm not expecting any of that. But they have to figure out if this is just going to be a niche product for them. Or if they're going to start growing and adding between 100 to 200,000 of these customers a quarter. That's what they got to figure out. And they have to figure that out for themselves. Internally, it seems they don't really have uh, a big strategy on it. So it's going to be interesting to follow this. But also at the same token, it's, it's hard to figure this out. It really is because they don't really give us any public indication that they're going any bigger with it than they currently are. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you use the product. Let me know if it works for you. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.